Welcome back. A diverse workforce is essential to a healthy economy, and STEAM-based careers are expanding rapidly. With only 23% of STEAM workers being people of color, the Greater Milwaukee Urban League holds an annual activity to connect students with STEAM professionals and participate in hands-on activities that open youth up to new career possibilities. This has become our annual activity to bring our partner schools together to learn about the STEAM industry. So science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So we have our business partners, organizations who have volunteered today to provide hands-on activities for our students. And our hope is that it will expose them to the different industries, the different jobs, the different professions that they can consider and actually match with their own talent, skills, and interests. When I came here, I learned um, CPR from um, a fireman. The way we did CPR, we had to do our hands like this. We had to push hard um, two inches deep um, right in the middle part right here. And, and then um, we had to make sure our shoulders were right over it. And then we had to push down two uh, inches deep. As an organization, we are especially focused on communities of color, you know, students of color. And what we know in STEAM is that 23% of those in STEAM are individuals of color. And there is definitely a need to increase that percentage. Those jobs are good paying jobs. Actually, many of them were the ones that lasted through COVID because they were specialty, you know, jobs and, and needs. So, you know, for our children to know more about that as they're planning the future, and that is our way to also increase diversity in the pipeline in STEAM. I'm a foodie, so I'm going with um, the, um, the, ro the roll wraps because they, they were delicious. I absolutely loved it. The food was very good. I tore that up in like three bites, and I absolutely loved um, getting to like touch the um, fox snakes and the um, box turtle. First of all, they're outside the school, okay? Believe it or not, many children haven't even been to the zoo. So, you know, part of what we do is also expose our children to different parts of the city and the county, places they may not have been. And so this is what makes it special. They're outside the classroom, new atmosphere, new landscape, an opportunity to interact with students from other schools, as well as meet people from the business community. A lot of them, that because I've been kind of floating to the different stations, and I'm noticing that our scholars are really engaged, like the um, CPR station from the fire department. Uh, it was fun watching some of the students actually uh, perform the CPR motions and actually learn about the fact how that can save lives. And then I watched our kids at the Chef Artie station, and um, a lot of them had never been exposed to uh, doing the whole spring rolls and, and wrapping um, and eating. It was fun watching them eat uh, something. For some of them, it was something different that they had not had before. And I think what this does is it helps to renew the spirit of our businesses and organizations that don't always interact with our children and understand and realize once again, these children are like everyone else. They have dreams, they have hopes, they're excited, and you know, let's really think about how we can support them for our future. The fun one was uh, the Smith, uh, because he had the interactive station where they could uh, watch how construction projects are done and how they look for safety, and listening to the kids identify different unsafe practices and be able to call it out and talk about why it was unsafe as well as the medical college. Some of the kids were really freaking out and having fun at the fact that they were looking at human parts, like the lungs and the heart. So, um, like I said, it's, it's different. It's one thing when you're in school and you maybe talk about it or see it in a book. It's a whole nother thing when you can come and put your hands on it and touch it and, and actually see it and understand how it relates uh, in the world. They were able to meet other students um, that they learned some things that they never knew about, 
that they had some hands-on activities that really made them think about their future, made them understand how important education is to their future, um, and just being, again, exposed in a different setting. Each year, millions of individuals, families, and communities bear the physical, mental, and economic cost of violence. When we come back, we'll visit with the Milwaukee Office of Violence Prevention, whose aim is to stop violence before it starts through a public health approach.